Hello everyone, welcome to ODA class. My name is Sushant Srivastava and today we're going to talk about the most common things which students forget to revise just before board exam. So as we all know, your board exams are very nearby. So I have collected few points where the student actually makes some mistakes or they don't revise these topics before the exam and they end up losing those one to two marks in the final exam. So let's see what is the first thing guys over here. And the first thing that I've collected is a very common thing which can be there in board exam very easily. This is angle bisector theorem. You guys know angle bisector theorem, but if you miss out one information or two information from this thing, you will tend to make more mistakes and you'll get your answer wrong. So I'm just gonna make you revise what is angle bisector theorem. So suppose there is a triangle, okay? And let's name this triangle as triangle ABC. And if I talk about angle bisector of angle A, so you'll get this line and this is dividing this angle. So this is theta and this is also theta. And if I name this point as D, so we all know that BD by DC will be same as AB by AC. That is angle bisector of triangle divides opposite side in ratio of adjacent side. So I can write BD by DC is equal to AB by AC. So guys, don't forget this relation between the ratios. And if you forget this, for sure, you you might miss out one mark because this is gonna come in one marker objective type question. Use this formula and get that one mark. Let's go for the next question. So the next, uh, in fact, next point that I've collected is actually based on external division uh, formula wherein you all are very much comfortable with internal division. In external division, notice that there is a minus sign compared to internal division because in internal division you get that plus sign. So this is one common mistake that a student make in the final exam. So when external division is coming, make sure that you are writing minus sign. Let's talk about the next point guys. So in the next point actually, this is very important. A lot of students have asked me earlier that so do, uh, should we write justification steps in construction problem or not? So if a question for comes from construction chapter for one marker or two marker, you can avoid writing justification. But if it is there in three marker or four marker, make sure that you're writing those justification. Otherwise from CBSC side, you'll be losing one to two marks just because of your justification steps. Let's go for the next point guys. And in the next point, actually this is very interesting uh, topic that I've selected because before 2015, most of the people were overlooking geometrical probability because before 2015, they have never asked any question on geometrical probability. And most of the time, questions from probability chapter used to come for one mark or two mark. But in 2015, there was a question for three mark, if I'm not wrong, maybe for four mark, which was based on geometrical probability. So guys, don't forget to revise this particular subtopic. And I'll just help you to understand what is geometrical probability. So when you talk about geometrical probability, you get favorable area divided by total area as your probability. For example, if I talk about a circle, and inside this circle, suppose there is a square and I am landing or I'm throwing a dart in this circle and I want that dart to land inside the square only. Given that the dart will always land inside the circle, if I want to find out the probability of dart landing inside the square, then you will say that if I name this as A, B, C, D, so probability of dot inside square will be equal to probability uh, in fact this probability will be equal to area of square divided by area of circle so you could write area of square divided by area of circle because area of square is actually the desired area which we are looking for. So if you are looking for probability of dot landing inside the square, then it will be area of square divided by area of circle. So these kind of question you can always expect and this will come either for three mark or four mark depending on the difficulty level of the question. Let's see the next point guys. 
So this is actually interesting because this formula is uh, there in statistics. Most people overlook this formula. And when this is coming in the final board exam for one marker, you will miss out that one mark question or objective type question which will be based on this. Okay, so let me recall this thing as well. When you talk about empirical relation between mean, median and mode, so this is that relation and they might give you two of the values. They might give you mode and mean, and then you are supposed to find median. They might give you median and mode, and then you're supposed to find mean. So they can use this formula in n number of ways, and most probably you'll get one marker or two marker question from this segment, okay guys? Let's go for the next point, which I have over here, is again related to statistics. And this is one of the common mistake which students tend to make, okay? And the common mistake is they misinterpret mode formula with mean formula. So you all have memorized this formula again and again, but when it is coming in the final exam, somehow you will end up mode formula in medium or median in mode so guys I'm gonna make you recall I'm gonna help you to remember this thing for mode this size is less this is how I remember so denominator over here is more and here median this size number of alphabets are more so denominator is less that's how you can actually help yourself to remember this formula okay guys so these were the points which I actually collected so that you guys can actually memorize these things you can actually focus on these things and it will help you to score full marks in your final board exam so if you guys have understood these points don't forget to like this video and if you want us to make these kind of videos more do subscribe to oda class i'll see you guys in the next video until then bye bye